Here's a sharp little desktop accessory, I think, from 1974. This is the Garrett ITM2. Has a little cover here. Over a keyboard. Um, it is a clock. Has a date, a calculator, a timer, an alarm. It has an eight-digit Panaplex display. We'll see in a minute. It's all plastic with some uh, fake wood grain sticky label on it there. Under the cover is some instructions. I don't have the original packaging and I don't have the original instructions. So I'm somewhat at a loss on some of this stuff. But we'll get to work what we can get to work. I think it's a very sharp looking thing particularly when we get to see the uh, Panaplex display. Underneath, here's some particulars. Model ITM2. Garrett Comtronics Corporation, San Diego, California. I thought at first this might be part of the Garrett metal detector group, but the doesn't appear to be. That's Garrett Electronics and the um, text on the names looks a lot different. So there's nothing fancy about its construction. It's simple plastic. I will say it has an eight foot, over eight foot long power cord here. So you're going to be able to put this anywhere on your desk and uh, work with it. Let's plug it in and take a look at some of the things. All right. Plugging it in, there's no on or off button. It just turns on. It's a little hard to see that display right now. We'll turn that overhead off. And it's eight digit. It's a Panaplex display. We'll take a look inside in a minute. All right, to set the time, clock, C, C, 2, 45, we'll call it 30, and then PM and time, and um, so now we're running our time, and that's the little PM indicator there. And you can see the uh, digits are seven segment panaplex. Sometimes I have issues with a four, no matter where it is, there'll be issues. There's, there was a four right there, you might have noticed it freaks out a little bit on one of the segments. But most of the segments work very well most of the time. To set the date, clock, C, C. I don't know, let's call it um, 9.30. And hold down enter while pressing the date key. Now we're still seeing the time, but to see the date, you press this key. 9.30 and we can go back to the time and if we don't want to see the seconds I think we can depress the C no depress the decimal to call it recall it press the C what else can we do let me check for a minute instructions also mention that you can store dates and times in sections four and five. I don't know why. Maybe you have upcoming appointments or something. So let's say you wanted to put a date in key four to remember for some reason. So clock CC. I don't know, maybe there was something you needed to do on um, eight twenty-five. 
enter four. Let's recall a date for now, September 30th. But let's say you wanted to look at your date you'd already stored. 9.25, did I hit, well, I hit nine instead of eight? Um, you could do the same thing with time, buttons four and five, I guess, if you wanted to keep some sort of suspense date in your clock for later review. It has a timer function. Um, timer, alarm, and you can clock count down to whatever you want. Let's say 60 seconds. Enter. Oops, that's not right. What did I do wrong? Timer, alarm. C, C, 60, second, enter. So now it'll count countdown from 60 seconds. And we'll edit this out, but I would think at the end of 60 seconds, there should be an alarm, but there is no alarm. So let's kind of reset it here. Timer, alarm, C, C, 15 seconds, enter. Uh, this way I won't have to edit all that out. But I would expect an alarm at the end of this timer, but I do not get it. So as you can see, nothing. It also has a stopwatch function um, timer C C enter now it's just acting as a regular stopwatch and uh, you wouldn't expect an alarm on this but that's what it is and it will keep going even when I get off the timer and go back to clock Set an alarm clock, alarm, C, C, let's say we set it for 3 p.m. 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, hold down the p.m., tap 3. Now when I go back to check the alarm, 3 p.m. All right, and of course that should sound an alarm at 3 p.m. I'll let this run and edit it out, but you'll find out we do not get an alarm. All right, we should be coming up on our alarm. Oops, no alarm. If I got one, it says to press the C to clear the alarm, but we did not get an alarm, so. I've known this before, so I got inside to see if maybe there was a cut wire by the speaker or something and I took some video while I was inside so let's stop for a minute and take a look at that video I got of the insides of this unit all right taking the little feet off looking inside we can see a capacity for 220 volts or 115 volts Those capacitors have date codes of 7408 and 7430. There's the National Semiconductor. MM5317D, which I know is the main clock chip. That one must be the calculator chip. Is that a national semiconductor? I don't know. Of course, that says 7539. And here's our two Sprague ICs, 7440. It's a Garrett. 
don't see any obvious reason why the alarm wouldn't work. That's unfortunate because anything heavy diagnostic I would be no good at to try and figure that out. I have no schematic for this. But I took the screws out of the circuit board adjusted no jewels assembled in Mexico Visa a little bulb there there's the designation on the board itself Gear at 480266001C, I guess. So there's our Panaplex display. You can see some of the keyboard things there I might not have shown too well earlier. This one has a uh, enter and AM if you're going to be doing AM things and a PM there time date and alarm are there and these are just your normal calculator function keys there taking a look at the calculator functions this is a panoplex display like we looked inside and it's eight digits one two three four five six seven eight um, now it's reverse Polish notation RPN so enter to then divide and so that's half of that and uh, enter to multiply nothing okay three two six enter to multiply all right so it's got a nice display except for like I say the four segment sometimes cuts out but I really do like it but no scientific things, nothing fancy about the calculator in that respect. But I think it's good looking. The whole unit is good looking. Here's a close up of the uh, minimal instructions I have for this. I suspect if I had the original packing material and instruction sheet, I would know more. I don't know where these were sold or how much they cost, but I truly do like it. So that's been the Garrett ITM2 desktop calculator, clock, alarm, timer, stopwatch from, I think, 1974. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.